Hi everybody, and welcome back to this week's Explore to Learn Early Literacy blog. I'm Jamie. And I'm Sammy. Hi Jamie. Hi Sammy, how was your day? Well, it was good. How was yours? It was pretty exciting. Exciting. I noticed that you said explore to learn. Yes. Yeah. So yes, we know that those words both start with an E, right e. Sammy? Yeah. But today's letter was X, and so we put an extra emphasis on exciting, right? And extra also has an X in it. That's right. <laughs> So, X is really hard. Yeah. You just have to say that it is. It's a hard letter. It is. So, you could go with xylophone. Yeah. But we chose to focus all of our stuff on X rays. Ooh, X rays are cool. They are very cool. Sammy, do you know somebody who does, takes X rays? I do. Who sort is Sort of. It? I think it's your mama. My mama yes! does. My yes! mom does take X rays. That's so cool. It is. And I meant to bring some X rays in for my class, but I kind of forgot. Oops. Oops. That's all right, though. It happens. So, like I said, we took the letter X's for X ray. So, I gave each of my kids a black cramp, and I had them color the X all black as if it looked like the back side of the x-ray. Yeah. Then I had Miss Beth, who is fantastic. She cut me out 300 paper bones. No way. She did. How could you ask her to do that? Because she loves me. And wow. I love her. And I, I love appreciate you too. her. I love you. If I had arms, I would have cut them out too. Oh, thanks, Sammy. Uh -huh. You do have wings, just not opposable thumbs. Yeah. Yeah. So, so she hard. cut these bones out for me. I had the kids glue them down. They traced the X on the back. And that was their card this week. Very nice. Yeah, I think like nice it. and simple. They hey, like simple. Hey, what was your craft? My craft for my big kids was one I found online, and I actually really loved it. So what I had my kids do was draw a picture of them. Oh. Sammy, who does this look like? It looks like you. It is me. I drew this one for as me, so they had an example. It's got your shirt. It's got your fun sandal. It does. The only thing it's missing is my hair. I didn't leave enough space for them to color the hair. Well, maybe, maybe you have a ponytail. Sure, why yeah. not? But the best part is when you lift up, they have a black piece of construction paper, and underneath, I had them draw their bones. Wow. Yeah. That's so cool. So just like an x-ray, if you lift it up underneath your skin and your muscles and all that other stuff, you'd have your bones. That's so fun. Yeah, it was wow. really fun. And it's really fun to see what kids think their bones look like under all of our skin. Yeah. Yeah. The book we chose to read was called You Can't See Your Bones with Binoculars. Ew. And this book is a very long book. Yeah. However, what I chose to do, instead of reading all of the information, we just read the top stuff, which is the bone song. Sammy, do you know the bone song? I think so. How's it start? Yeah, like the head bones, bones connected, connected to, to the, the neck bone, the neck bones, bones connected, connected to, to the shoulder bone. Yeah, shoulder bone. Connected to the rib. Bone. Back, back bone. Yeah, so that's how that la, one la, la, la. And then at the time I had each kid point to whatever bone we were on, and then you can see the picture. So this one's the knee bone. Cool. They thought that was really cool to be able to see the x-rays of what your knee would really look like. What do your wing bones look like? I don't know, Sammy. Maybe my mom will x-ray you sometime. Oh, fun. That would be kind of cool. Yeah. All right, well, Sammy, do you know what else we're getting excited for here at the library? I do, because guess what month it is? It is April. It's April, which means that May is soon, and after that is June and July, and we have summer reading! That's ah! right! So at the library, we start to get ready for summer reading really, really early so yeah. that we, all of our patrons know what's coming up. Yeah. So the first thing we want to make sure all of our patrons know that's is you that guys. that's you. If you go to our website right now at mooresvillelive.org, you can click on the months of June and July, and even there's some programs in August, and you can see all of the events we have for kids, teens, and my little babies. So can patrons sign up for those now? That, they actually can't sign up just yet. The first day to register for all of our summer events is Monday, April 30th at 9 a.m. 9 a.m., folks. That's right. Give us a call or go online. Also, can they sign up for the reading part? Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good point, Sammy. You can't sign up for the reading part until June 1st. Oh, I know what's happening on June 1st. Okay, Sammy, go ahead and tell Okay, me. so we have a big event on June 1st. We're showing an outdoor movie. What movie? We're showing Hugo. Ooh. It's an award-winning movie based on a famous book. Um, The Invention of Hugo Cat, right? That's it! You got it! So it's going to be at 8 o'clock in the nighttime. PM mm -hmm. and it's gonna go until eleven oh six to be precise. To be precise. So from eight to nine we're gonna have fun activities and then from nine to eleven oh six you can watch you go. <laughs> it's gonna be really fun and it's the kickoff to our summer. Yeah. So we hope you guys all come. Definitely.
Definitely. Thanks for tuning in today. Okay, bye guys.